Hi folks, I'm from Android.com where we get on Android every day. Anyway, I just got my first 360 degree action cam from Kodak. This is the only camera you can actually get right now to upload 360 degree videos to YouTube. Um, so let's go ahead and unbox this bad boy. Let's go do this, baby. All right, guys, so I've got the Kodak PixPro SP360. Uh, this is one of the only 360 cameras you can actually get. I mean, you can grab like three or four different GoPro heroes. They have that 360. That's a cumbersome setup. Uh, with this one, you will actually be able to take 360 videos from the get-go. You just need one camera. Uh, it comes with lithium-ion battery, battery charger, AC adapter, USB cable, glass lens cover, protective cover. Um, also, accessory box contents. The cool thing about this is that it also comes with a bunch of different mounts. Check out the number of mounts here. Bar mount, curved adhesive mount, uh, flat adhesive mount, stra helmet strap mount, surfboard adhesive mount. So it comes pretty much with all of the mounts you probably need. Um, so that is really cool because I'm planning to put this on my motorcycle helmet and test it out and see how the quality is here in a second. And uh, this hamburger knife is not working too well. I stole it from Peony. Don't tell her. All right, here we go. So here's the unboxing. Um, so obviously it said that it comes with two different boxes. And on the bottom, there's these stickers. And we'll go ahead and open the main box up first. All right, this is the main box. All right, this actually came out a couple months ago. So it's been out for a while, but this is like really the only uh, 360 video camera that supports full 1080p. Now, I don't know if that is 1080p uh, using the 360 video, it, it should be. So this is actually pretty cool stuff. Uh, two meters, six feet, shockproof, uh, splat, nah, who cares about that? Um, let's actually go just open it and we'll throw it around and just make sure it actually lives up to all that. All right, inside the box, there is a bunch of manuals and I'm gonna go ahead and put that aside. And there's a cable here. And I think this is a battery charger. There we go. And also there is a nice carrying case. Ooh, I really like this. And the camera itself is just that big. Wow, that is pretty cool. Um, sort of like a GoPro, but uh, it has 360 mode. But I'm not sure how this will be 360 because to me, well, I guess that is 360. So it'll be able to get views from 360 degree angle. So I, I am thinking that you would most likely have to uh, place it in this manner here if you want to get everything. All right, and uh, this is a cover for it if you want it. A little cute box. It looks very cute. All right. Uh, if you have daughters like me, you like start liking cute stuff. So uh, yeah. <laughs> All right, um, that's that. All right, this is the camera. Let's actually go take a closer look here. All right, this is the camera itself. Looks like there's simple buttons. Okay, mode, splash proof. Uh, it does support NFC and also it does support uh, Wi-Fi, as you can see here. There's a little LCD here. And this is not a dial, it's just fixed there. And there is a thing to open here. There we go. And this opens, and this is where the battery goes, obviously. All right, that's the camera. I think the battery is actually in the bundle accessories section. So I'm going to go ahead and open the other box. And I'm actually not going to open all of it. Well, yeah, I will have to show you everything. All right, there is a protective case. Yes, just like a GoPro. And this should make it waterproof, so you can take it into the pool uh, and all that good stuff. Nice little case here. It actually looks very much like my GoPro uh, protective case. So there we go. And you got some adhesives, like it said on the outside of the box. And you got a ton of different mounts. I mean, literally this thing comes with everything you need. Like GoPro, one of my complaints was like, you buy the video camera and then you have to buy all the accessories uh, and then end up spending like a thousand dollars just to get, you know, just to put, put mount your GoPro on a, uh, your motorcycle mount or maybe not a thousand but you know what I mean it, it costs like another hundred two hundred bucks to get it just right here's another casing for it I'm not sure which one I'm gonna use but th there's a lot and there's even a suction cup here um so these are all kind of different mounts oh here's a, like a helmet strap 
All right, so let's actually open this one up. This, I can maybe use it on top of my, my motorcycle helmet. There we go. So that's a mount you can use on top of your helmet, motorcycle helmet, whatever helmet you want to use. All right, I don't see a battery for some reason. Okay, I may have missed it somewhere. All right, let me put that aside. And boom shakalaka, I feel something in here. So they hide, they hid, sorry, past tense. Uh, they hid the battery inside the, uh, the cute case. All right, carrying case, carrying pouch. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and put this on here. I'm gonna go ahead and lock it. And I don't know how much battery I have. Let's go ahead and just turn it on. I think that's the power button. I finally figured out the battery part and there is a micro USB here and also micro HDMI and also a little micro SD card slot upon which I'll insert one of my Samsung Pro cards here. All right guys, I was able to connect it. There you have this Pix Pro app you can download for Android or iOS. Uh, and immediately I was able to access it and you can see um, they give you like a 180 degree view here on the top and bottom. Um, so that's how the viewfinder works. Anyway, I'm gonna go actually go record some videos. Uh, maybe go by the beach real quick and show you guys a 360 degree view. And my first YouTube upload of a 360 degree view. Um, so let me go do that and I'll be back. All right guys, I was able to test it out and I actually uploaded my first ever 360 video uh, to YouTube and I actually uploaded two of them. Um, so check them out. Uh, this comes with so many different uh, suction cuffs, mounts, helmet mounts. So I actually hooked up this little guy. Uh, it's basically a mount that you can hook up to anything. Um, so I hooked up this to my monopile. That's how I do with my GoPro when I want to take selfie videos or selfie shots. Uh, so I did that and it works pretty good. I mean, it is 1080p, but uh, you have to consider the 1080p is broken down into 360 degrees. So what you get isn't exactly 1080p, it's a lot less. Uh, but still, the fact that you can get 360 de uh, degree videos, it's pretty cool. Now this doesn't actually give you 360 degree view. Uh, it only gives you 180 uh, degree view, sort of like that. But I also figured out if you place it on the top like this, sort of gives you a lot better 360 degrees. Um, so it's not a full 360 degree camera, I would say. I mean, although they market it like that. But I am still satisfied with my purchase because this is one of the only cameras right now uh, that can take 360 degree videos until the new ones come out. I know Gyroptic is uh, coming out with a new one pretty soon. I saw at CES. All right, you can use the Wi-Fi app. Uh, you don't need to. And you can simply use the LCD. Now there is two different modes. It's like 1440p or 1080p. Again, that's not real 1440p. I, I guess it is. Uh, but uh, that's the simple controls for recording. Actually, it does cameras. Uh, sorry, that was my mistake. So it does do cameras. And I think that's sync. And also I think it does have time lapse. Um, so if you want to set it down like the beach or something and do a time lapse, uh, that would be pretty cool. But that's about it, folks. I mean, it is a pretty cool camera for what it is that you can get it right now. And all these accessories that come with it, uh, certainly it's, it's a great way to get 360 degrees videos right now. Uh, but by the time you see this video in a couple months, there might be something better. And uh, once that comes out, I'll probably uh, get one also. But that's pretty much the unboxing. I'll have a full review of it. Uh, do check out my 360 degree videos. I'll be uploading a couple more in the next few days, so check them all out. Hi guys, let me give you the software interface here. Uh, this is the Pix3, uh, Pix Pro 360. Basically, you can connect your camera, and let's say this video I took earlier today, uh, and you can go ahead and play it in different ways. Now it's in global, and you can play it uh, separately like this. Let me go ahead and turn this sound down here. And you can also play it in different uh, angles here in 4. And also you can uh, make it YouTube compatible and upload it to YouTube, which is really nice. Also, while the video is playing, you can actually move it and change the view where you're viewing it from, which is really nice. Pretty cool stuff.
And thanks guys for watching this video. If you ask me, oh, should I get the Kodak 360 cam? Um, well, I would wait a little bit. This is one of the earlier ones. I think this is one of the very first 360 cameras, but the Gyroptic and a couple other companies are gonna have some great 360 cameras. Now the resolution isn't as good as I expected, but it still allows you to make 360 degree videos that you can upload to YouTube, like right now. It took me like literally five minutes to do this. So definitely check it out. I'll see you guys soon as always. Stay on Android.